Hi, faculty. It's Elizabeth at the Coastline Library, and you are getting this fun bit of information because there are faculty in your discipline who send students to the Coastline Library workshops. And when we looked at our data, there was a big section of you who did that. So we really appreciate that and what the library has done as we have come up with a collection of online library resources for these disciplines that really support the library workshops. Now in the library workshops, I'm putting together announcements so that I will send this information to students around the bulk time that your students are taking the workshop. But if you were interested, I wanted to give you the opportunity to also embed this information into your own courses if you wanted to have it there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. In my example, I'm gonna show you with an announcement, but you could definitely do this with a new page or to add content to a page. So I open the announcement, I go to the brackets, I paste in my HTML code, and I go back to the brackets. And so here, if you're not using Design Plus, all of the content will show up for you. If you're using Design Plus, oh, let's give this page a title. So now I'm going to open Design Plus. I need to add a design. I pick my design. There we go. Now here you can see my Design Plus wrapper is not around my content. So what you will do again is go back to the brackets. And then here under the title, which in my case is line four or five, I'm gonna take the division tags, I'm gonna cut them, I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom of my HTML code, I'm gonna paste them, and when I click back on my HTML code, you'll see that my content is uh, inside of Design Plus using those tools. So one thing to know right here is that it's created two titles title tags, what happens is the title of your page is usually going to be the first page by default of the first title in your page. But once you have a title page, you can then change it. So I'm just going to go back. The easiest way to do this is go back into your HTML. And what you'll see here is you have an H2 tag, which is your heading to, and then you have another H2 tag. So the easiest thing to do is to take out that first H2 tag, delete the whole thing, come back into your tags and you'll see that's gone. And then I just go into Canvas, hit save, and there you have the perfect content. All right, so there you go. That's how you do that. If you would like to embed it, like I can't, like I said, totally voluntary on your part in the library workshops, we will have an announcement that goes out around the time that we see your due dates are kind of happening. So your students will get this information from us. And if you have any questions or need help with this, please go ahead and contact me. I'm happy to help. And thanks again for supporting the library workshops. All right, have a great day. Bye.